Thank you for watching this Tier Systems tutorial. In this video, we will be covering the integration between Tier Inventory and WooCommerce Online Store. First of all, what are some of the benefits of integrating Deer to WooCommerce? The stock levels will automatically update from Deer to Woo, ensuring that you have consistent stock levels across the front end of your business as well as the back end. The orders which are imported from WooCommerce can be easily fulfilled using the pick, pack, and ship options in Deer Inventory, and order information can also be synchronized to the shipping application of your choice. All inventory costs and movements accordingly sync to your accounting application as well. So essentially, you have a centralized inventory management application for all of your sale channels if you're in a multi-channel environment. So, what is some of the data that is exchanged? Well, first of all, the WooCommerce orders, so order lines and additional charges lines, all come across from WooCommerce into Deer Inventory. You also have the option to import in historical order payments, also coming across with the orders you have. The ability to exchange products between Deer and WooCommerce and stock quantities from Deer to WooCommerce can be updated. Last but not least is the customer information that comes with every single order generated via WooCommerce. So the first thing that happens when you integrate is you can either download the products from WooCommerce into Deer or list your Deer inventory products on WooCommerce. Each sale from WooCommerce will first go into the pending sales section of the Deer inventory and stock will be allocated to those orders immediately. And these orders are processed every hour unless you select daily consolidation method, which will consolidate all orders for the day at a specified time. So stock level changes will be pushed from Deer to Woo on an optional basis. Some of the data that doesn't currently integrate is the initial load of products from WooCommerce will not import stock quantities, so stock quantities will need to be entered into Deer Inventory via the stock at hand template, which you can find in the inventory module. Let's take a look at how to integrate Deer and WooCommerce. Before you can start the setup in Deer, you will first need to amend a number of settings in WooCommerce itself. The first thing within WooCommerce is to navigate to Settings and ensure that API is enabled. Then Save Changes. Then navigate to Settings and Permalinks and select any setting apart from the default. Then Save Changes before exiting. Then navigate to Users and add a new user. You will need to specify all the relevant information required for the initial setup and selective role. As an administrator, you will then need to add new user. Once the user has been added, you will need to navigate to the users page, edit the existing user at the bottom of the page, click generate API key and click update user. You will need to also change the permissions to read and write and update the new user again. Once the data has been saved, you will need to use the consumer key and the consumer secret to continue the setup of the WooCommerce integration within the Deer inventory. Let's take a look at how to do that. To access the WooCommerce integration page, you will need to navigate to integration and then select WooCommerce from the menu. The WooCommerce integration page will display the details of the data being exchanged between the two applications. And then you'll be able to add your new shop by selecting the Add New Shop tab and entering the relevant shop credentials. Your WooCommerce shop name, the website consumer key, and consumer secret we created earlier. Once you have entered that information, you will need to connect to WooCommerce. Once the connection has been authorized, you can continue the setup of your store. You're provided with a checklist that needs to be completed before the integration will work correctly. And you can manage the various stores that you have connected to Deer. Let's take a look at some of the options required for setup. First of all, you will need to identify the parameters required for processing the sales which come from WooCommerce. You can select when the orders is captured from WooCommerce 
so the statuses are created, paid, or completed. You can also choose to consolidate the orders if required. If no consolidation is selected, each individual order will be created as a separate transaction into inventory. However, when daily consolidation is selected, you will also need to identify a consolidation time, which means that at a particular time, all orders of the day which have been generated in WooCommerce will be consolidated into a single transaction in Deer Inventory. You will then need to select a customer. Now, a customer is most required when daily consolidation is selected. However, you should always select a generic customer in the drop down because if for whatever reason the WooCommerce order did not contain the customer information, the generic customer information will be used for that order. From here, you can also select the regular price tier, which will be used for the products. If you're publishing these from the inventory into WooCommerce, you can also select the sale price tier. These product tiers are created against the products initially and can then be selected in this dropdown. You can also automate some of the fulfillment steps. So the pick, pack, and ship steps can be automated either individually or all three can be completed automatically when the order comes from WooCommerce. So depending on the internal processes, you can automate some of these steps. You can then select a location which will be used to calculate the relevant quantities for your WooCommerce store. So if you maintain multiple stores, it might make sense to have a separate location for each of these stores, but this is completely up to you. You can also control the status of the invoice, which is created for the relevant WooCommerce orders. So the invoice can either be in draft or authorized format. If the invoice is in authorized format, it will be synchronized to your accounting application. You can optionally update stock levels in WooCommerce. Please ensure that before you turn this option on, that you have all the relevant quantities entered into D inventory because the quantities of your stock items did not come across from WooCommerce upon the initial sync. This is very important that you have quantities in Deer, otherwise, the new quantities in Deer inventory will override your quantities in the WooCommerce, and you may want to avoid that situation. Once you've made all the relevant changes, you will need to save the changes. So the next page would be to link WooCommerce and Deer tax rules. It's important that your WooCommerce store has all the relevant taxation rules set up correctly, and ideally these taxation rules would also be set up in your accounting application. So you will set them up in your accounting application, then synchronize these to Deer Inventory. And also make sure that these tax rules are consistent in your store. That is the only way to ensure the correct tax calculations occur when the orders are imported. Please note that the tax rules downloaded from WooCommerce are based on existing sale orders. If there are no orders in your store, the tax rule table will be empty. This is the current limitation of WooCommerce API. What will need to be done here is that we will need to select the relevant tax rules that are available in Deer and map that to your WooCommerce account. From here, you will also need to link WooCommerce payment methods to payment accounts in Deer. So ensure that you have a relevant payment account enabled, preferably first of all in your accounting application and also in Deer inventory. The settings save automatically, so you do not need to save changes after completing these settings. Once you have updated all the relevant settings, the checklist will be completed and you can continue the setup. Next stage of the setup is the catalog management. Each of your WooCommerce stores can have its own catalog. With a catalog, you can either load the products from WooCommerce, you can also load the customers. The catalog table also shows a list of all the products, so you have the SKU, the product category, and the price, the available quantity, and also whether the product is currently listed. In order to list individual products on WooCommerce, you will need to select one from the list. You will be provided with some basic information about the product. You will have to be able to choose whether to sync stock levels to WooCommerce from the inventory. To list the product, you simply click List on WooCommerce. Once the update is completed, you will be notified that the product is listed. And to remove the product, you can simply select Remove from WooCommerce. 
The status will also now be shown as listed for that particular product. Now perform bulk listing of products rather than individual items. You will need to use the bulk listing tab. Here, you will be able to select a category or family or product tag to list. And to begin the bulk listing, you will need to click Start. Orders which first come across from WooCommerce are first entered into the pending order section and can be viewed before being converted into actual sale orders in Deer Inventory. The stock is allocated to these orders immediately, so whether these orders sit here for an hour and then automatically processed, or you choose the daily consolidation, the stock is reserved as soon as the order is created within the pending order section. Once these have been completed, you can hit the process button to process the orders in the pending section. The pending orders will then be converted into actual sales orders, which can be viewed by navigating to sale and selecting view all. To view, simply select one from the screen. Now, depending on the fulfillment steps selected and also depending on whether you have that stock available to fulfill that order, the pick and pack and ship will be automatically completed and also an invoice will be created. Again, all of this is controlled via the settings. So if you wish to see the invoice automatically authorized, you can select that in the settings that we looked at earlier. Also, the same applies to the pick and pack and ship. To view the order, you can simply expand the header. You will see the customer reference reflect the actual WooCommerce order, and you will also see the relevant sales representative selected for that particular sale. Now, if for whatever reason you need to reload this order, you would need to avoid the particular sale order within the sale module. We then need to return to WooCommerce to view the logs, which will display all the orders that were processed. So this is the order that we voided. And if we wanted to reload it back in, we would need to clear the log entry, first of all, to ensure that no double ups occur within the import. As long as the order is sitting within the log section, you will not be able to load that order again. So once the order is deleted from the log, you can go into pending orders and use the load orders button and then select the particular date that we wish to reload back into the orders and then click load from WooCommerce. Now, if you have any historical orders from the previous financial year or any historical orders for a considerable period of time, you should ensure that you also upload all the relevant stock quantities starting from the particular period. Day inventory is a perpetual inventory system, so you need to have the stock in the system before you can fulfill those orders. To upload the stock, you will need to go to Inventory, then go to View All, and under the Import drop-down, you will be able to download a Stock on Hand template. You can view the information that is required for the Stock on Hand template, essentially the SKU, the quantity, and the average cost. A mandatory location and also the date the inventory was received, so ensure that you complete that template and upload it back to have the relevant information in the system to be able to process a historical or any current or pending orders. This concludes the Dear Inventory and WooCommerce integration tutorial. If you have any questions about the integration, please email support at dearsystems.com. Thanks for watching.